everybody. This how-to video is intended to introduce you to the basic features and operation of the Locomotors Electric Verado Drift Trike. First off, basics. Go-kart wheels in the back, PVC sleeve. This could also be HDPE, it could be black, it could also be white PVC. They all work. The black is a little bit uh, stickier, it does not quite drift, it doesn't drift quite as well, so it's better for high speed downhill runs. All will be available on the store. Your battery pack is key operated. You have a key in the back that turns on the system. When you turn it on, you can see LEDs light up showing your battery status on the handlebar. Your seat, pretty self-explanatory, you sit on it. The handlebars, pretty self-explanatory, they help you steer. Uh, one thing that you will want to make sure before you go and ride your trike is to make sure that your pegs, which also act as your wheel nuts, are nice and tight. On the actual production model, these will be cross-drilled so that you can stick a screwdriver or other metal pin in there to get a good twist on here. Make sure that that's good and tight. You don't want that coming loose while you're riding around. You're going to have a bad time. Uh, this trike will have uh, disc brakes like this. It also has regenerative braking. The brake handle is on the left. You don't need to pull hard. If you pull real hard with your whole hand, you'll wind up stretching out the brake cable. So really, uh, you, you want to try not to panic if you're in a panic situation. You really just need to pull this pretty lightly with two fingers. It's a very powerful brake. It will stop you. Um, on to basic riding and operation of the trike. You have, you turn the key on behind you, turns the trike on. You try to keep your feet on. One of the general guidelines for are you big enough to ride the trike is can you reach the foot pegs. It's pretty crucial. It actually helps you control pretty well. So it's a uh, traditional um, motorcycle style throttle. So you just twist the throttle and you go. Um, for example, I'll pick up the front end so you can see how it works. Just twist the throttle and it goes. Basically what happens is the rear end's going to slide at relatively low speed depending on which uh, sleeve you have on here. With the PVC it's about 5 miles an hour and you need to counter steer almost as soon as it starts to slide. So you'll initiate a turn, as soon as it starts to slide you turn back the other direction. As this is a front wheel drive vehicle, you will want to stay on the throttle. The throttle will actually decrease your drift angle and pull you out of a drift. And that's really how you do a lot of your, your control. Um, if you let go of the throttle and you're in a drift, uh, unless you immediately counter steer more, you're going to spin out. Uh, spinning out is probably the easiest way to get yourself in trouble with this thing. If you wind up backwards, and most people do their first time out, try not to steer, just go straight and pull the brake. If you try to steer going backwards, it's about the only way that you can actually flip this thing. Um, so, as I was saying, you're going to want to counter steer as soon as you start to slide. So basically keep the front wheel going the direction you want to go. Once you get past a certain point, and if you're going at any kind of speed, you will need to turn the wheel a substantial amount you'll need to take your leg off, pull it out in space so that you don't burn your leg on the tire, especially if you're wearing shorts. Um, you'll see a lot of people who uh, have been around the sport a while will wind up, they'll have burn marks on their legs from when they first started out and nobody warned them about this. So be careful your first time out. You want to make sure that you know how far you can turn before you got to take your legs off. And that's really all there is to it. Twist the throttle to go, steer, lots of counter steer. Counter steer is your friend. If you wind up backwards, just pull the brake. That's all there is to it. Enjoy and uh, look forward to seeing other how-tos on how to mount your sleeves, uh, how to change the front tire, how to program the trike, um, how to mess around with some settings to your heart's content. This should be a good starting point for anybody to take their trike right out of the box and go have some fun.